Sorry I didn't vlog the whole night, but last night was good. <laughs> it was real good. It was so good, y'all. Hey friends, here comes Linda. Hey y'all, hey y'all, what is good, what is poppin'? It is your girl Nasla back for another vlog. I have posted a vlog today, this morning, and when I posted it, I even made it very clear in the vlog, granted so when I looked over it, it was, it was honestly fine, but... I don't know i just had two different perspectives on it from when i originally posted it to when i posted it and then i try to watch it on my channel the very first clip was me at work and i had just got off stage and i was i wasn't lit but i had a lot of energy i was sober i wasn't drunk i wasn't nothing i was 100 percent sober but i literally just got off stage and i walked into the dressing room after I posted it and as I was watching it, like I was just talking really fast. And I don't know if you guys caught on to that, but I do talk fast, especially when I have a lot of energy. I talk even faster. But as I was watching myself, I started judging myself. And I was like, yo, why are you talking so freaking fast? Like, it was almost to the point in, like, y'all could have been like, bitch, are you doing coke? Like, bitch, are you okay? And I'm just like, I could have, it could have been, it could have been me just being too hard on myself. This kid's himself. It could have been me just being too hard on myself and judging myself. But I was just like, yeah, no. I was like, what the fuck was I thinking? Delete. So I deleted it. I'm sorry. And that vlog was at least like, that vlog was from last Friday from the, tw no. Yeah, that was from last Friday. All the way until yesterday, I vlogged that shit. So I at least had three days, maybe four days in that vlog. But I just couldn't get over that first clip. I was like, yo, like, you look, not a uh, look, but you sound like you're just talking so fast. You sound like you're fucked up on something. And I just wasn't trying to do that because I was sober. But <laughs> that's all I'm fucking with it. But hey, y'all, today is Wednesday. I work at 10 o'clock today. I'm actually supposed to head to my homeboy's house to do his hair, but he acting slow. Like, oh, that's him right here. Okay. Oh, he just made it easier for me. Thank you. Um, I was supposed to go to his house to go do his hair, and he had hit me up around 1 o'clock. He asked me if I know how to do hair, and I was telling him I do, but the only hair that I know how to do, I didn't tell him this part. I was like, I do, it just depends on the length and the style because I'm only used to doing long female hair and my son's hair. My son's hair is like mine, very fine. So it doesn't have like that kinky texture to it. So I was telling him like, it depends on the style and the length. And he was, you know, showing me the style that he wanted. And I said, yeah, it just depends on your length of your hair. I told him to go ahead and wash his hair. Blow, no, I told him I'll blow dry it. I told him to wash his hair, detangle it so I can come over and blow dry it and get it ready. But as we were talking now, I was like, okay, but just let me know when to come over. He was like, you can come now unless you want to come tomorrow. When people say unless you want to come tomorrow, that makes me feel like you want me to come tomorrow. So I was like, it's up to you. What, do you. what would you prefer? So he just texted me back now, and he was saying that he was trying to make his daughter's soccer game by 5.30. It is now 2-something. I'm not going to be – look at him. I'm not going to be done with his hair in time, so I'm probably just going to do his hair tomorrow. But since, um, 
But since I'm not going to do his hair, I'm going to go ahead and smoke the rest of my shit and then take a nap. Because when he hit me up, I was literally... Look at him. When he hit me up, I was literally about to fall asleep. I was literally falling asleep. Like, I was listening to a video and I was like dozing off. Dozing off. I'm dozing off. And I was like, you know what? Let me just get up and be productive and do his hair instead of taking a nap. But now I'm not going to take a nap. I mean, uh See how I am right now? I was a lot worse in that video that I was telling y'all about. Since I'm not going to do... <laughs> Since I'm not doing his hair, I'm going to go ahead and smoke and take a nap. He's like, why'd you start rubbing me? He didn't get the man. So I'll see you when I go to work. I'm... <laughs> Nights like this make me want to say I'm over dancing. Like, it just pisses me off when... I'm a good ass dancer and I don't get paid for it. And literally the ones that literally just have a booty and a pretty face can make so much money just because they have a big booty. And literally not even throwing that shit OD crazy. Like you're literally just doing the, the bare minimum. When I say the bare minimum, the bare minimum and getting paid for that shit. So that right there made me leave the club tonight. I got here at 10. It is 11.57. And I made $30, y'all. Wow, this girl isn't doing anything and made over $400. <laughs> irritating, irritating, irritating. But it's okay, cause God's gonna, God got me one of these days. He got me one of these days out the week. One of them. But I'm about to head home. I'm gonna see y'all later. Don't mind this. I didn't take my dance clothes off. I just straight put my clothes on, cause I was just ready to go. Dancers was asking me like, how many stations did you do? How many stations did you do? Girl, it don't matter how much stations I did, like. I should have had way more money than I have right now. No bullshit. But you know, I just have to remember it's not over. We're not always going to have good nights. We're not. So tonight and yesterday. Well, yesterday was actually all right. Yesterday was actually all right. But today, absolutely not all right. Absolutely not all right. Absolutely not. But it's okay. Like I told y'all earlier, God, God got me later on this week. Then again, I've been kind of spending a little recklessly. I wouldn't say recklessly, just a teeny bit impulsive. And I realize when I do that and I go through phases of that, God be slowing my money down. If that ever happens to y'all, y'all let me know. Like, do you guys ever notice, like, when you guys spend your money impulsively on especially on things you don't need well i guess when you haven't when you do impulsive no not necessarily when you have impulsive spending it could be some real shit that you need because i've been through that before um but then again not really because all the time that i did that it was like house stuff but then again like you can never go wrong with buying house shit right should i pack more i'm gonna grind a little bit more wheat forgot what I was saying. Have you guys ever noticed that when you guys spend impulsively on whatever it may be and you do that continuously, God be stopping? Well, I guess I can't really say God be stopping your income because if you work a, like a regular job and you get paychecks and you work a set hours that you're supposed to work, your checks should always be the same. But if you're like a bartender, a server, a bottle girl, any type of job that you make money on an everyday basis, when you guys spend your money OD crazy because you're like, I can make it back, I can make it back or because God blessed me this day, I know he'll bless me the next day. That's the mentality that I think God be trying to, like, get out of me is the fact that, like, when he really be having me good, I'd be like, no, because God's going to bless me again. God's going to bless me again. And then he'd be like, girl, somebody else have a food before I do. And he always do every single time. Every single time. He don't miss. Dang, I guess I didn't need to grind that much up. So I would have got some stage footage for y'all, but I really want no stage footage to give. 
I didn't have no energy when I got up there. Somebody I get up there and I would dance and I'm seeing Shorty. And that's what also be pissing me off. Because I love her. I love her. She's We're cool. But it's like, she don't like when other people get on stage when it's her turn. So don't get on stage when it's my turn. And she knows I'm a pole queen. So it's like, sometimes she don't like getting on stage with me because of my pole tricks. You know what I'm saying? Which is cool. I understand that. Ooh, I understand that. But it's like, if you don't like other people getting on stage when you're on stage, don't do that to me, especially when you know the people that you're sitting with has mad money and they could have possibly spent it on me if you didn't get on stage or if she didn't get on stage. But the fact that she got on stage on my turn, granted, we weren't on the same stage. She was on the side stage, but it's like, you were getting on like probably after me or two says after me, like, don't try to steal the spotlight from me. And that's what I felt like she was doing a little bit because I be I be grabbing people's attention. But granted, I didn't grab their attention today because obviously every time I was getting on stage, she got on stage. <laughs> but it's whatever. It's whatever. And that's how you know it's early. It's 12.37. I got there at work at 10 o'clock. I was not having it. Ooh. Not having it. But I'm about to shower. I'm about to shower and then smoke my blunt and then go straight to sleep. So I love y'all and I hope your guys' day is going really, really well today. And um, I'll see y'all in the morning. So weird, I know. The lighting is a little bad. I don't put no syrup on my babies yet. But I just finished making breakfast. I decided to sit by the window. It's raining outside, but it looks really nice outside. It's real lively outside. I wish I had a table because I would so eat outside. But I'm not sitting on the floor. But I'm going to eat our breakfast, y'all. About five, sixty calories gone, y'all. Mm-hmm. It was like four something. I put like 150 for the cup of milk, the chocolate milk, because that's probably about what it was. And then two tablespoons of that. So I probably had more than two tablespoons. So I'm pushing about six something. I'm about to head to the gym. And um, I'm going to head to the gym in like five minutes. I'm going to do a quick little workout. And then when I come back, I'm going to make myself an oatmeal shake because I'm going to be burning off calories. So I got to put more calories in me. So I'm going to jam, come back, and drink a shake, take a shower. Me and my sister are supposed to get our backs chiropractic adjusted. So we're going to go see a chiropractor. Do that. I might do my friend's hair today. Um, so, yeah. Bless you. Bless you. So that's how the day is going so far. I have energy, but I don't at the same time. I think I'm just overly tired. I don't even want to go to the gym, but I've not been to the gym in almost three weeks. So I might as well. What? Thank you.
so much it tries me insane. I ain't got a clue, bruh. Wait. So what can I say to you? But I'm off day. Got to fall back. You got everybody thinking I'm all bad. You know the truth. I was always holding you down. You down. Y'all can't even see the quality of these bamboo towels. They are amazing. Call me a fiend. I don't care. <laughs> I had to come back upstairs to grab my, well, not grab my, I went out to my car because I was on my way to work because I was sitting in my house in solitude trying not to get in a funk slash depression mode. So I was like, you know what, instead of me just sitting here, I might as well go to work. You feel me? So instead of going to work at 10, I'm going to work at 8. It is like 7.21. Come up to, I came up to grab this. So I can pour it up. Cause I don't like spending my own money on drinks at the club. And until people are there to buy me drinks, I'm gonna drink my wine and feel good. You feel me? I also need to stop at the beauty supply store to grab some lashes before they close. I need to help and do that. Because I believe they close at 8. Love y'all. So, yeah, y'all. Mm. You know, I'm way to work. I was going to actually close this vlog out. But I might as well keep it going until the end of the night. Okay, no, okay. 
the pretty girls involved with me Making pretty love to me Pretty, pity, pity Y'all, why nobody told me? Well, I already knew, but I didn't know it was this hard. Why is being a plant mom so hard? I'm about to just throw the bitch away and buy another plant at this point. I'm about to throw her away and buy another one. Like, Lily, come on, give me peace. Give me some peace, Lily. Look at her. She was doing so good, but I had her up there because I thought she had too much light right here. <sighs> like, look at her. Just <laughs> lifeless. Sorry, don't mind my shiny face. I um just got the shower and put aqua four on my face. So I got a really heavy, heavy, heavy moisturizer on my face. But y'all. Hey y'all. <laughs> hey y'all. So we're gonna do like a little rundown before I close this vlog out. Before I close this vlog out. Last night, Last night was good. Last night was really, 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 really good. I'm sorry I didn't vlog the whole night. But last night was good. <laughs> it was real good. It was so good, y'all. I was drunk, but I won't like drunk, drunk. I just. <laughs> I fell once on stage. Hard as a bitch. I went to do a shoulder mount. And when I do my shoulder mounts, I can kick my legs all the way back and like um, basically like have the pole in between my legs where I'm basically like doing like a backflip on the pole type shit. And I got stuck and I ended up falling. <laughs> I ended up falling and it wasn't in this clip, the dance clip that y'all seen, but that person that you seen sitting next to my stage and he was throwing me money occasionally, that nigga seen that shit. I was on that stage. So, like, people at the pool table heard me fall, see me fall. I know at least five people had to see me fall hard as a bitch. I fell hard as fuck, y'all. Like, but I played it off. I played that bitch off. And he still ticked me after I fell. Like, <laughs> I put that shit off. But, um, other than that, night was good. It was real good. I was trying to take my homegirl home, but she was lingering. So, I ended up staying at work to, like, I didn't get home till like 3.30. What else? My back. Um, the other day I got my back adjusted, as y'all seen. It was a lovely experience. I need to go once a month. When he cracked my neck, y'all, I was, first off, I was scared as hell for him to crack my neck because I'm like, I know I have to relax, but I'm like, what if I'm not relaxing enough? And he just, I reject him doing it and then he fucks my shit up. But it didn't, he didn't. It was very smooth. He popped my neck. He popped all the way down my back. He basically did, like, the most bare minimum shit because it was for free. Because my mom is his receptionist in his office. So, I get my shit for free. But, yeah. <laughs> it was lovely. I ended up... I was real sore after, so I had to ice it. I ended up going to work that night. And I regret going to work that night while I was at work. Because when I was at work me dancing and being on the pole it just made my back and my neck hurt so bad the entire time i was at work but when i came home and i slept and i woke up i wasn't sore like i thought i was gonna be i thought i was gonna be in crucial pain but i wasn't which is really good i wasn't um what else i feel like i'm missing something i just don't know what i'm missing i don't know I don't know but i do hope you guys love this vlog do not forget to like comment subscribe follow me on all my socials only socials i got is instagram and twitter 
I don't have Snapchat. I don't, you know, so. I'm following on that. Um, what else? My face looks so good today, y'all. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. And I will see y'all later.